Well, yesterday on July the 4th, 343 released their most recent Halo community update, which gives us a nice roundup of all the happenings within Halo and with 343 as a studio as a whole. There are six or seven pieces of information that I think you should know, so I wanted to bring that to you today. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Coltrane, and it is my express desire to bring you joy in all of the content that I create. If you like this video, well, a like and a subscription would help me immensely, but with that said, let's jump into this week's Halo Community Update. Alrighty, as we jump into the update here, we have a really just patriotic picture of a Spartan. America, God bless the USA. I do sincerely hope all you folks had a nice 4th of July. The first piece of information we get here, though, is Halo Outpost Discovery kicks off this week, and it's happening right now, starting July the 5th and running through July the 7th. Uh, it's starting in Orlando, Florida. It's going to go to Philly, which is in uh, two weeks from now. I'm going to that event. If you're going to the Philly event, let me know in the comments below. Would love to meet you and say hello to you and interact with you and just enjoy all the cool Halo stuff that's going to be there. But they'll also come to Chicago, Houston, and Anaheim. I mean it, folks. If you have an opportunity to go to one of these, even if it's a bit of a drive, I highly recommend you going if you're able. I think it's going to be one of those opportunities that you'll look back on and be like, man, as a Halo fan, what a gratifying experience to have something tangible to go and do and participate in. I really, really think it would be awesome. Moving along, after that, we get some Halo Master Chief Collection news. The next section is kind of a bit of a recap from the June development blog uh, for MCC that Postums wrote for us about a week ago. I actually did a video covering that news and notes really in depth, and I'll link that in the description below so you can check that out. Info we get here today is uh, they talk about the first flight, which happened last weekend. Just a small group of folks were selected just to, as they say here, the goal of the flight, validate their delivery pipelines uh, to be used for larger audience, beta test an all new Halo support site that they're going to use for flighting, uh, and just kind of get some general feedback on all the areas that are going to be really critical to making sure they can properly channel R as the player's feedback to them and actually incorporate that into things that's going to impact the end final product. They also include the uh, Halo Reach PC 4K playthrough of the Tip of the Spear mission, so if you didn't check that out, Go look at that. It's very good. It's incredible how good these games look given the 4K makeover. It, not quite as much, you know, obviously to a current gen game, but it does not look shabby at all. I think it looks really awesome. Then they continue on with some just June development updates information. They outline the progression system, which is one of my most favorite things coming to uh, Halo MCC with Reach. I'm so excited for this. Uh, they give you some of the work in progress information, so pretty cool stuff to check out. Uh, they also say here, I want to draw your attention to, that they will flight firefight. They'll do, uh, as they call it, firefighting. So a nice little play on words. That should be exciting. I love PvE activities, and so I'm going to really enjoy getting back into firefight in Halo Reach. They also talk about the legacy map and game type uh, mitigation and migration um, from legacy titles to MCC. That's going to happen um, for game types and maps as a one-time transfer. Uh, go check out the June blog uh, for more in-depth information about this and talk about it in the video below that outlines that so you can check that out. Now, one thing that's a little bit different um, that they hinted at in the June blog but didn't talk a ton about, but that is that you're going to be able to bring legacy screenshots over. So they include some of the favorite legacy screenshots that were made. Uh, I personally am uh, impartial to these two over here, the recreation of the raising of the flag, you know, that famous World War II picture in the Southern uh, uh, Theater of War, uh, Southern Pacific Theater of War, and then I <laughs> love this image of this elite getting chased down by this chopper. So funny. Moving along after that, we get some playlist updates uh, to MCC. We got some Halo Combat Evolve changes, some Halo 4 changes, some Halo 3 changes, uh, and then some Halo 2 uh, anniversary infection changes. Uh, apparently, that was kind of in a rough spot. I wasn't privy to that. Uh, I say a rough spot only because some of the wording they use here, um, that they spent a lot of time looking at the maps and game types offered and noticed there was quite a bit of feedback, and then they totally revamped that entire playlist. I haven't jumped in to see what it's like yet, but there are a bunch of new maps uh, as they outlined here, so check that article out. That should be pretty cool. Uh, then they move on to talk about some Halo 5 Guardian stuff. Uh, here we have uh, information about Husky Raid. I was playing some of this last weekend, and boy howdy is that a hoot. Just the carnage that is a single straight line map as you try to capture one another's flag, or whatever the game type is. It's insane, it's a lot of fun, it's an excellent just kick back and just chill out and play some Halo kind of game type. Definitely 
encourage you to get into it. They then move on to their July calendar. It looks like July 2nd, which is obviously past now. We got some Halo 3 Classic throwback, Griff Ball. On July the 11th, we're getting Castle Wars and Warzone Assault goes live for the weekend. And then July 28th, or 18th, excuse me, we get Covenant Slayer. Then July 25th, we get Mythic Shoddy Snipers and Warzone Turbo for a week. So hop into some of that if that sounds good to you. Uh, then moving right along, we have some Halo Championship Series news. Uh, if you're in the Chicago area, they have this Red Bull Rise Till Dawn on July the 13th, Halo 3 2v2 tournament. It's going to happen on the 99th floor uh, of some building in Chicago, and it's going to be an overnight event. So that's going to be kind of cool. It's going to test your Halo 3 uh, skills as well as your ability to stay up late. And it sounds like they're going to provide some Red Bull, so go check that out if that sounds good to you if you're in the Illinois, Chicago area. Continuing on, they then highlight Beach Land 8, which is August. August 10th through the 17th. Uh, this is a group that's been doing some Halo CE events for quite a while. So if you're in the area that this is happening, go check that out as well. If you like some good old fashioned Halo CE action, uh, then they have some information about the Halo European o Open, the Halo Classic coming September 6th through the 8th. Uh, the European Open is the 17th through the 18th of August. Uh, and then they have some HCS Grassroots Content Creator applications. Uh, there, it's now open for the month of July, so if you want to apply and be a part of this, head over to halo.gg slash grassroots and get a part of that. Then moving on to Halo gear information, not a whole bunch of news here other than that they're doing a giveaway for a Halo Infinite poster and a Halo Reach um, a mouse pad. So check that out if you're interested. And then some community spotlight stuff, they talk about Spartan, uh, M Spartan Fest. Mexico City 2019, which is coming, uh, and then they have at the end single Halo clips, which are a total hoot. Watch these, they're pretty good. Some of the clips are absolutely awesome, just clutch plays. Other of them are just like, how the heck did that happen? Crazy. Uh, so check that out if you want to see some of that goodness. Uh, then they have a, a quick blip about radar blips, as you see here, about the 343 uh, social stream that they had here just this past week, and then of course a community spotlight about some of the cool art pieces. And actually, to finish then with art. They have this really awesome concept art piece from Halo 2, and I remember seeing this for the first time way, way, way back when, when Halo 2 had just come out and thinking it was just so cool, because as they talk about here in the article, uh, the concept of boarding vehicles was such like a revolutionary idea in video games, particularly for Halo, and I always just loved this image. I mean, who doesn't love seeing the Chief just totally give the boot to a brute? Uh, so pretty cool stuff. And then they have this really great uh, Halo Independence Day image of uh, the Master Chief crossing of the Delaware, um, which I think is awesome. Well, folks, that's going to do it for the Halo community update for this week. What was your most favorite piece of information? I'm curious to know in the comments below. Let me know again if you are going to any Halo Outpost discovery uh, of the events. If you're going to the Philadelphia one, I definitely want to know because I will be there and I would love to meet you and talk with you about Halo. However, I encourage you to go follow Halo Outpost discovery on Twitter. They're posting some cool screenshots and things of what's happening at those events so you can kind of live vicariously through them if you want to. Again, if you liked this video, well, a like and a subscription would help me immensely. Would also love to invite you to come hang out with me on Twitter. I am constantly tweeting about things gaming related, particularly Halo, uh, as well as just sharing my life with folks there. So would love to come invite you out there and I would love to interact with you on Twitter. I would also love to encourage you to come hang out with me on stream sometime. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday by 9 p.m. Eastern and I typically stream halo related stuff on saturday would also love to encourage you to give our podcast a listen i and some of my buddies run the fair and balanced play podcast where we talk about anything gaming related a link for that's in the description below if you've liked this video well a like and a subscription would help me immensely but regardless of what you choose to do i hope you choose joy in your life today and you go give joy to somebody else thanks so much see you in the next video